He says it looks like this started as a case of road rage and tonight police have one person in custody. This happened at a busy time in a busy part of downtown and witnesses say it appears one of the victims was just a bystander. I held a man's hand as he died in downtown Portland. Alyssa Eisenstein Kruger is stunned after what she witnessed Wednesday afternoon. I don't even know what to say what to think. Just after 4.30, police responded to gunfire at Southwest 10th and Alder. They found one man dead and another injured. Not long after that, they took someone into custody. It's traumatic. It's horrific. This woman says she witnessed both shootings and for that reason asked that we not identify her. She told police it looks like what happened started with road rage. She took this photo and says the suspect was pulled over in this black Mercedes. She says the victim pulled over too and walked up to the driver's side window. And I thought it was odd that he had jumped out of his car and left his car door open. And that's when the driver of the shooter lifted up the gun and he shot him. And he shot another gentleman on the sidewalk and then fired again the third time. And then he took off around the corner. The witness says it appeared the second victim had nothing to do with the incident. Alyssa saw that man first. I saw there was a guy on the ground who had been shot in the leg and screaming and people were trying to help him. Medics took him to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. All around, people called 911 and did what they could to help the first victim, including Alyssa. But in the end, it wasn't enough. I ran into Jake screaming as their doctor. It was taking forever for the emergency people to come. And then I just sat there and held his hand and he passed. At 4.30 on a Wednesday. Tonight, police are continuing their investigation. They're asking anyone with photos or video of what happened to share it with them. They haven't released the names of those involved. David. Yeah, it just takes your breath away. Thank you, Catherine. Appreciate that report tonight.